Like. There's a lot of damage done from when I went blue. I've been growing it out for like a year. It's been a long time. I'm getting a lot cut off. You can see my natural hair is all this and then it stops right there. Yeah, like that's my natural hair. I'm just going for a bit of a change. I'm really excited to see the difference and feel cool again because I just feel like boring these days when I just have my natural hair. Gonna go get my hair done. I literally woke up like an hour ago so I'm not all like dressed up so I feel like maybe you can't see the full vision. This is my freaking hair. Like the ponytail is tiny. Took some inspiration from this TikToker that I saw because I was obsessed with her hairstyle. I loved the wig that I wore for my 21st birthday when I dressed up as Christina Aguilera. This is what it looks like. Oh, she's windy! <laughs> Today I woke up, I think it was around 9 o'clock. I was meant to wake up earlier to do some work, but I was just so tired because 
yesterday i had a breast scan which is really scary i think it was back in may time i went on holidays and i found a lump in my breast was referred to get a breast scan and obviously that's terrifying uh, my appointment was at three o'clock my boyfriend was really kind and came with me I was really grateful that he went because when i even went in and asked the receptionist where it was i had no idea what she said it completely went over my head oh my god that rhymes like she was like yeah just go there and pass the shop and take this turn then yeah and there you are and i literally didn't hear any of it and i was just like okay where do we go it was such a strange experience because it could be something so innocent like you just have a small cyst or your glands in your breast doesn't always have to be something so sinister but of course when you're getting scans you're like no one knows like everyone's getting a scan because they don't know there's a chance where the people in that room find out that they have a cancerous lump obviously i was like so on edge and the atmosphere in the waiting room because it was all young girls as well which was crazy i thought it was going to be older women everyone in the waiting room was young always that was kind of reassuring and like less intimidating but at the same time it was just like i don't know it just was like a really eerie sensation to be sitting there and like not really knowing anything if you're completely fine or not if you're, the person beside you is completely fine or not it is terrifying and i remember texting my boyfriend and waiting a while and only four minutes had gone by and i swore it had been like half an hour the waiting process felt like so long i also was told that i was going to be seen to by a male doctor which was kind of uncomfy i was ended up being seen to by a female and she was so so nice and then i got my scan afterwards and basically i don't have a cancerous lump so anyways that was my day yesterday and then i went out for drinks afterwards and um, just kind of celebrate and you know relax a bit and had a really nice time i think it's called the post house i went there i did have a good time and then watched a bit of the lord of the rings last night and then again woke up at like nine i just feel like i don't have that much stress in my life anymore which is amazing <laughs> nature walk even though it's freaking raining it's freaking raining and i don't have an umbrella where are we going pete we haven't been over which is also got the big giant screen i'm excited Good. Today I am meeting my friend Eva, who I haven't seen in so long, I want to say two months or something, on eBay. This doll that my younger sister lost when she was younger. It was like her favourite, favourite doll ever and she called her Rose. Every Christmas my mum, my mum looks for her on eBay and tries to find it but she can never ever find it and I find it. My sister lost this doll in 2015. I still don't know what I want to do after uni yet. I'm trying to take it like day by day and not force myself to make a decision really quickly. And change is definitely good, but I don't need to change things like straight away, especially when I feel like I'm really happy right now. I'm definitely looking into master's programs, but I'm currently at Queen's University and I don't 
like their masters. I would love to stay at the university because it's a really pretty campus and it's just so efficient. Like it's literally a five minute walk away. I feel like I might just have to take a gap year to figure it out then instead of feel like feeling like I have to rush everything. I might just make it my goal to do like so many programs if it's like a volunteering program. If it's like a marathon, like a mini mini marathon, not saying I'm gonna do a fucking marathon, but you know, something like that, oh, something like that, like just fill my year with a bunch of activities and opportunities. All my friends will be in final year because their year, their courses are longer than mine. They're like four or five years and mine's three years. I'm gonna get ready and go see my friend. Day because since like Harry came back, he was like, we used to vlog. Good to Look at that one. And just some lovely, talented girlies. Oh, come on, we can't have you like that. We teach you better. You're 21, you learn mean? better. Thank you! Happy birthday, Anthony! Oh. Yay! Happy Christmas! Here you go. Oh. I miss you.